Okay, in today's video, I'm going to go over some relatively straightforward calculations for determining the magnetic field inside of a coil. In a previous video, I went over kind of an explanation of how the magnetic field in a coil works, so to speak, and you can link to that in the upper right-hand corner of this video. But for now, we're just going to do some relatively straightforward calculations. Now, this is the last one I did in the previous video. Um, this is the equation that we use to calculate the magnetic field strength with inside a coil. It is a magnetic field strength is equal to mu zero, which is the permittivity of free space, times the relative permittivity of the material, times n, the number of windings, times i, the current, divided by the length. So in this uh, problem, we want to know the magnetic field strength. We have an air-filled coil. These are the values for the current, the number of windings, the length, and the permittivity of the permeability of free space. And we're simply going to plug the values in. We want to remember, since we have an air-filled coil, that mu r is 1 for an air-filled coil. Sometimes you'll see this value represented as k. You might have that in your equation. But we have mu 0 and mu r. Okay, So we're just going to plug the values in. We get 4 pi times 10 to the minus 7 tesla meter ampere. 320 windings or 320 turns. This number doesn't really have a unit associated with it. And we have 6 amperes. And of course, we have the length is 0 0.4 meters. We have 40 centimeters. we got to convert to meters here because meters is our units for the metric system, the basic unit for the metric system in length. So you can see our meters cancels here. Our current amperes cancels here. We're left with Teslas. And we come up with that the magnetic field strength inside that coil is 6 times 10 to the minus 3 teslas, which would give us uh, 6 milli teslas. Okay. Now what we want to say is that we're going to put uh, an iron core in that coil. We have the same values from the previous slide, but now we have an iron core. The iron core has a permittivity number, permeability number of mu r is equal to 200. And this is the value we got from the previous slide. Now you'll notice for this equation, um, we now have mu r here, and we're just going to be multiplying the value from the previous equation, from the previous slide, times 200. That's how it works out. We're just placing this one value in here. Everything else remains the same. So we could go through and write everything down again, but we can also just take our value from the previous example and multiply that by 200, and we get that that is now 1.2 Teslas. So we have in the first case... We have the magnetic field strength without the core is 6 times 10 to the minus 3. We place the iron core, increases the magnetic field strength by a factor of 200, and that gives us 1.2 Teslas. All right, now in this uh, problem, we want to know the length of the coil. We're given the current, the number of turns, and the magnetic field strength. We're going to use the same equation. We're going to rearrange the equation to solve for the length. And the first thing I like to do, maybe just to show how it works out, is that we're going to place the mu zero and the i, the current, on the top half of that equation, on the numerator, and we have in our denominator the length. Now I know how an equation works like this when you have a fraction on one side and a single term on the other side. I can just switch these two terms. Basically, mathematically, I'm multiplying both sides by L, then dividing, dividing, dividing both sides by B, and I end up with that L is equal to mu naught times N times I divided by B. The magnetic field strength, and we now we can plug our numbers in again, and we get that 4 pi times 10 to the minus 7 times 250 times 3.7 divided by, now this is 5.5 milliteslas, so I put 5.5 times 10 to the minus 3 teslas. We want to get everything in base units, so to speak. And then we do that, and we get that that's 0 0.21 meters. The answer comes out in meters. You can see teslas cancels, amperes cancels, left with meters. And you can say that that's 21 centimeters. All right? That's how we can calculate the length. And we can do something similar when we want to now calculate the current. Okay, we have a length of 35 centimeters, 370 turns, magnetic field strength, 1.2 milliteslas this time. And then we want to know the current. We're going to take the same equation. I'm going to do the same thing. I wrote the mu zero and the n and the i on the top, the l on the bottom. Now this time I want to solve for i. And I'm going to cross multiply. So then I have b times l on the left-hand side. And I'm solving for i. So then I'm going to just divide both sides of the equation by mu naught times n. And I come up with that the current would be equal to B times L divided by mu naught times N. 
and I can just plug the values in, the current, and then um, I have my uh, magnetic field strength is 1.2 times 10 to the minus 3 millitesslas. This is milli times 10 to the minus 3 millitesslas. And I have my length of 0 0.35 meters, 35 centimeters, 0 0.35 meters, divide by my permittivity of three, three space, free space, 4 pi times 10 to the minus 7 decimal meter ampere times 370 windings. And I come out with the current in that uh, magnetic field and that magnetic field. And that coil to give me that magnetic field with all the other stuff must be 0 0.90 amperes. Okay, so there you go. I think I did four examples. We solved for the magnetic field strength with and without the core. We solved for the length. We solved for the current. You could do the same thing basically for solving for the number of windings. All right, so thank you very much. I hope you found the video helpful. If you did, please do all the following thing. Four things. Don't forget, uh, subscribe to my channel. Get all my, of course, excellent physics, chemistry, and math videos. Uh, give me a thumbs up for this question, for this question. For this uh, video, uh, leave me a nice positive comment in the comment section below. And don't forget, sharing is caring. Share this video with all of your friends. Show them how much you care. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video.